Ugh, I'm a terrible drawer. That doesn't look like wood at all. There we go. So why learn how to transfer an image onto wood? Well, it's something I've seen done in videos before. Uh, I found a version that looks really difficult and like it, well, not really difficult, but it took a long time and looked kind of like a messy way of doing it. So I wanted to find a cleaner, easier way of doing it that would make a better quality image. My project this week was to put an image of my wife onto a piece of wood to take to work and put above my desk because I don't have any pictures of my wife at work. So that's why I decided to do this project. I learned how to do this from a few different YouTube videos that I've included in the description of this video. The first things we need are wood, Liquitex matte gel, glue, and a couple of little paintbrush things. Now these packs of two are usually the cheapest, but the problem is is that you can inspect the front one if it has any knots in it, but I've opened these up and found tons of knots in the bottom one, so I stopped buying those. Luckily I found these ones here that turned out perfect. I'm going to find a few of these that don't have knots in them and buy them. So it seems like we have the stuff we need. The first method I found online that seems the easiest is to use wax paper. Apparently you can just put wax paper through a printer and whatever it prints on it you can just press onto wood. So let's give that a try. Okay, so that was a fail. So we're gonna go through this simplest to most difficult. The next thing I found is using Avery label uh, sheets because they have a smooth surface on them after you peel the label off that I guess makes it pretty easy. So we're gonna try that. So the first step is to peel the label off. Whoa. Oh, I guess the back is pre-cut. Well, time to go to Walmart. Okay, so we're back from Walmart. And this time we have labels, individual labels, where the back is not pre-cut. So these should work better. All right, so now you go through and peel off every single label. So we have our label paper here. Labelless and clear, shiny, smooth. All right, so what we have to do now is spray this with a matte finish. And I, what I've read online, you can use a lot of different stuff. I'm gonna be using, so I'm gonna be using some polyurethane uh, semi-gloss that I have around. So let's spray that on here and let it dry. Apparently you're supposed to use an inkjet printer. Not a laser jet printer, which is what I have. I think I got a little ahead of myself. Didn't read the fine print. This is one of those measure twice, cut once type of deals. So now I need to find an inkjet printer. So buddy just lent me an inkjet printer, so we're good to go. Okay, this is taking forever to dry. Um, I think my wife has a hair dryer. All right, let's dry. Let's put it in the printer and see what happens. I don't know, this turned out kind of weird. My wife looks pretty freaky in this photo. Like, there's like a line difference here where the shading is different between these two areas here. Her eye is really kind of freaky looking. The There's like all these little ink blots and if I touch, yeah, they're wet, they smear. This doesn't really look very good, but I don't know, maybe when we put it on the wood it'll turn out? I don't know, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna play it safe. We're gonna do a test run on the back of the wood so we don't kind of ruin the front of the wood. Okay, since this is just a try run, I'm not gonna try to take that label off because that is a pain in the butt. So all you do now is you take your matte gel and you put a thin layer on. Once you have that done, you just take your image and you place it 
as carefully as you can so as to not smudge any of that wet ink. I'm going to line up the corners and now we just wait one hour for it to dry. All right, one hour later, let's see what we got. Ooh, my wife's not gonna like that very much. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That is no good. Why she got a big hole right there? Well, it didn't turn out. I'll have to figure out why. Well, that was a big fail. Uh, no luck today, but we'll try it again tomorrow with some different strategies and see how it works out. It is 12.30 in the morning, so I'm calling it a night. Part of the process, sometimes you fail. Okay, I just got back from class. So we're here to try the second method, which is to put glue on over the polyurethane, which should help the image print for some reason. I don't know, that's what they're saying online, so I'm going to give it a try. What you do is you take your Elmer's glue and you put it on your polyurethane covered Avery label sheet and you should be good to go. Once again, I'm going to use a blow dryer to get this dry. Wow, that turned out way better, especially compared to, you know, in this process, you have to be careful to put it on evenly and to not slide it, because if you do, it'll smudge the ink that's already on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this on the wood as carefully as I can, press it evenly all over, and see how it turns out. Also, I decided to put my wife's name on this picture, just because I thought it would be kind of cool. Okay, so here we are peeling this one off. Uh, let's see, hope it turns out. Oh, it, it's, it's pretty good. Um, oh! Crap! Oh no. Dang it. I forget to mirror the image. If you're gonna put text on it, you have to mirror the image, otherwise it turns out backwards. Shoot. Well, let's try this again. Let's see, what can I do with this one? It's me, Mario. <laughs> All right, here we are trying it again. I decided to take the text off the image. Not because I failed, but because I just like the way it looked better without it. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. All right, yeah, that turned out really nice. Sweet, oh man, Megan's gonna love this. And so is my desk at work. This turned out really nice, look at that. It turned out perfect, man, this turned out really nice. I'm really happy with this. Okay, here are the steps involved that I found that work the best. Take Avery printing labels, version 5633, peel off all the labels, then spray it with polyurethane, or any kind of matte finish works, works well. Spread a thin layer of glue on top of the polyurethane, print it on an inkjet printer, not a laser jet printer. By the way, I tried the inkjet printer with the wax paper, the other method, that didn't work either. It just doesn't print right unless you have that glue on there. So put the glue on there, print it off, be careful not to smudge the ink, and then use Liquitex matte gel, spread it on the wood evenly, place your image on there as carefully as possible, do not slide it or it'll smudge, and then wait at least one hour for it to dry, and then peel it off slowly and you should end up with what I got here, which turned out really nice. I'm happy with it. Hang it above my desk at work, that way I can look at my beautiful wife all day. I will again have detailed instructions in the description of this video to make it easier to print out. All in all, this project cost about $30 to do, but now I have all the materials. The only thing to pay for after this is the wood pieces. So now it's I can do this over and over again really cheaply. Uh, all right, well, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a try. If you do, let me know how it turns out. Next week, I'm gonna be tackling a Halloween-themed project. So, we'll see you then. Where's my hair?